Now, hello student. Exercise 6.1 of standard 9, lesson number 6. Okay, your first question is, is given in the figure. This question is given. Okay, I'm not writing question, you have to uh, look from the text. This is line, one line, this is another line, and there is one ray like this. Okay, name of this ray is A, O, then B, like A, B, then C, D, and, okay, this is B. Now, line A, B, and C, D, this is line A, B, and C, D, intersect at point O, that means this and this forms a linear pair, this whole, this part and this part. C O B and B O D forms a linear pair. Okay? Here this is ray A B is a point is a point which is interior of this C O B. If you join this O E, E O B and E O C also forms a linear pair. A O C C O E E O B. This is straight pair. That is also forms a linear pair. That means 183. Yeah, one thing is given if angle AOC plus angle BOE is 70. Where is AOC? This AOC this and BOE this. This two. Okay, this and this plus is equal to 70. Okay, now. Measure angle B O D is 40. B O D this is 40. Okay. Find B O E. We have to find this B O E. We have to find B O E. Then angle C O this is First of all, let us see if you will see this and this. Forget this line. Okay, and draw it here like this. This and this. C, D, A, B, and O. So B O D is 40. Measure angle. B O D is equal to measure angle A O C or C O A. Okay. B O D and A O C are equal because vertical opposite. Here B O D is 40, therefore measure angle A O C is also 40. A O C is also 40. Okay, we got this 40. We know that A O C plus B O E is equal to 70. Measure angle A O C plus B O E is equal to 70 we got AOC is equal to 40 plus measure angle BOE is equal to 70 we will take this 40 on the other side measure angle BOE is 70 minus 40 that means 30 BOE is We got this first. This we got BOE is 30. We want to find COE. Yeah. I'm explaining here. Measure angle AOC plus measure angle COE. 
plus beta equal e o b is equal to 180 y because it is a straight line or straight angle this is a straight angle we know that a o c plus b o e that means this one e o b minor angle b o e plus minor angle c o e is 180 a o c or b o c b o e means which is given here what is that matter 70 plus minor angle c o e is 180 therefore measure angle c o e is 180 minus 70 is equal to 110 measure angle c o e is 110 this way you can find the sum is that clear if you are not followed you can call us we'll explain you again but you have to be careful while explanation you have to go through this video again and again okay we have found your co what is said here okay we don't have to we have to find this co again one more question is main question is that we have to find the reflex angle of reflex angle of coe this is the main question you have here we have CO value are found because main portion is this. You have to find the reflex angle. Your sum is not over. Now we have to continue this from here. Now reflex angle of COE is COE is 110. Then we know that the total angle is 360 minus this angle will get reflex angle. Measure angle C O E 360 minus 110 will get 250. So this is the main answer of this question. Is that clear? Now next question will come. Next question is question number two. That is in figure 6.14. This time you have to try at home. You have to go through this video again and again. You will be able to understand. Not uh, go through this regular video again. You will find some problem. So you have to go through this again and again. And if you are not following the game, you can call us. We will explain it. Okay. Now next question. What is this question number two? Look. Okay. Find in figure six point four. This two are the line which intersect. Okay, here x and y. Here one line is perpendicular line is coming from here. That is P. Then this is point O. Okay, this is given one symbol. That means you know that P O Y is sine. It is not your but for from this symbol you can find that it is 90 degrees. Here one M. M M, so M M M O P and M O X here is given. That means this is A and this is B. We have to find C. Where is C? This one is C. We have to find this one. X O X. What is given? One more thing is given. Matter angle P O Y is 90. P O Y that from this symbol we can understand that it is 90. Okay, and one more thing is given that means ratio of A to B is 2 is to 3. We have to find C. Now let us see. Okay, P O Y and P O X. Don't think about this ray. This ray. We are talking about P O X. Angle P O Y and P O X forms linear pair. Therefore, 
मेजर एंगल पी ओ आई प्लस पी ओ एक्स इक्वल टू वन एटी दैट वन पी ओ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस पी ओ वाई दैट वन मेजर एंगल पी ओ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस पी ओ डी वैल्यू ऑफ पी ओ वाई इज नाइनटी वन एटी माइनस नाइनटी इज नाइनटी दैट वन P-O-X is 90 this one is 90 okay now we know that measure angle P-O-Y is equal to measure angle P-O-M plus measure angle M-O-X P-O-Y is 90 we got here pio pox not pio pox pio x is because pox is equal to pom plus mox right pox we got 90 here from this we got we got 90 okay and pom is a then mox is b it is also said that a is to b is 2 is to 3 Yeah, this is what. That's what a is 2x and b is 3x. Therefore, we write 90 is equal to 2x plus 3x. Therefore, 90 plus 90 is equal to 5x. Therefore, 90 upon 5 is equal to 5. Let's take it come down. 5 is a 5 is a 5. Here you have put 5 is a 14. Therefore. x is equal to 18 degree 18 now a is 2x therefore 2 into 18 is equal to 36 b is 3x therefore 3 into 18 is equal to 8 is equal to 54 because a and b we want find uh, we want to find c now from this and try your this figure like this Okay, I'm going separate figure. This is M M, and one line is going like this. This is X O. This is C. We got here B. Okay, we want to find C. Now, measure angle M O X plus measure angle X O M. Is equal to one eighty. Why? V O M is uh, S linear band. Pero linear band is linear band on eighty, so it is linear band. M O X is B plus X O M is C is equal to one eighty. We got B. What is the value of B? 54 plus C is equal to 180. Therefore, C is equal to 180 minus 54. Therefore, C is equal to 10 minus 4 minus 6. 7 minus 5 is 2 and 126. Hold on. Here, second answer is over. Here is how it is done. If you are not followed. You go through the video again and again. Again, if you have not followed, then you can call us. What you have not followed, you can explain. Today we have to be very careful. This is geometry part where you have to solve it properly. It is one twenty six properly. Correct answer is correct. Okay. Your next question is that is third question. Okay, I am explaining third question. Now let us see the third question. What is the third question? In figure 6.5. Okay, what is given? 
एंगल पी क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी आर क्यू टू प्रू व्हाट इज टू प्रू एंगल पी क्यू एस इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी आर टी दिस इज गिवन यू विल गेट इन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड टू प्रू यू विल गेट दैट आल्सो यू गेट फ्रॉम योर गिवन क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू प्रू we have to prove this this way here p triangle p q r and this is nine extended here s and t okay what is said here prove okay it is said angle p q r is equal to p r q where is p q r This is PQR. PQR is interior angle of this triangle is equal to PRQ. This is also interior. Okay. Now to prove we have to prove that PQF that is this and PRQ this one it is equal. That we have to prove. This is the proof. Okay. Uh, it is given. Therefore now measure angle PQS. PQF this plus measure angle PQR. Is equal to 180 degrees linear pair. This is the first statement. Second, measure angle P R Q plus measure angle P R T is equal to 180 again linear pair. This is second from. Result one and second we get look measure angle P Q S plus measure angle P Q R is one eighty. Yes, also one eighty. That means both are equal. This statement and this statement are equal. One statement is equal to second statement. Why? Because the sum is one eighty. PQS plus PQR, PQR is equal to measure angle PRQ plus measure angle PR. Now what is given? Given P angle PQR here is on the left hand side. This one is equal to measure angle. P R Q. This one, which is on the right hand side. This one. Okay, this one. We have cut the value of both is same, so we have cut them. If you break this, this will be same. It will be cut. Suppose this is five, and this is also five. Break this five. Five minus five is zero. It will be cut. Therefore, what is left here? Neither angle P Q S is left equals to. Yeah, neither angle angle P Q S is left. Angle. What is left here? P R T. What we have to prove? P Q S is equal to P R T. Hence, it is proved. Like this, we have to solve this sum. Okay. Question number. Student, if you have not followed this type of the question, you can go through this video again and again. Then you will be able to understand. Okay, you will not be able to understand in one time. You have to go it for uh, two, three times, many times. Now, question number four. What is that? In figure 6.16. Okay. Given is x plus y is the two plus z. Okay. Then to prove, what we have to prove? That means A O B is a line. For that, we have to draw this figure. We can draw like this, one way here and 
another area. Okay. A, B, C, yeah, B, this is O, X, Y, Z, and W. Okay, pro. Oh. Here, this, this, and this is one line. And there are two different rays. Look here. That we have to A, O, B is an angle. That we have to prove. Now, angle X, sorry, measure angle as this. Measure angle X, B, O, C, B, O, C, plus measure angle C, O, A, plus measure angle A, O, B. Plus B O B is equal to 360. Why 360? Because it forms a complete angle. This ray is coming round and coming its original place is complete angle. Complete angle. What is the value of B O C X? Plus what is the value of this? C O A Y plus what is the value of A O D Z and value of B O B is W is equal to 360. Okay, we know that given X plus Y is equal to W plus Z. So this and these are equal. Now x plus y plus instead of w plus z what is that plus w we will write what these are equal instead of this we will write x plus y what we have to prove we have to write aob is a straight line instead of this w plus z we will write x plus y why because it is given it is equal a is equal to 360 x plus x 2x y plus y 2y 360 Therefore, 2 is common. x plus y, 360. Therefore, x plus y is equal to 360 upon 2. That means 180. x plus y is 180. Therefore, w plus z is also 180 because both are equal. And it is explained. x, x plus y. If it is 180, that means it lies. It is a straight line. As it is explained to you earlier, 180 is a straight line or straight angle. Therefore, A, O, B is 180 because X plus Y is equal to measure angle A, O, B. X plus Y is equal to 180 is equal to measure angle A, O, B. AOB is 180, therefore AOB 180 is a straight line, therefore AOB is a line. Hence, it is so. Is that clear? If you are not following, go through this again and again. Again, we will explain. Now, we are not explaining at present because it is difficult. Huh? First you try this, you try to explain later on. Now I am explaining sixth question. Last exercise, last question of this exercise. Now, what is this question number six? Here triangle X, Y, Z is given. So we have to draw this x, y, z. Your diagram is not given. You have to draw x, y, z. It is 64. x, y produce this line produce a one point that is here p. One ray. It is p. Okay. Draw a figure of the given function that y q by z. This is y. This is y. Here y is q. It by z. It is q. Y2 by Z angle Z Y P 
bisect means this angle and this angle are equal. It is x. It is also x. Bisect means what do we mean by bisect? The ray which divides any number into two equal parts is called bisect. So this angle is bisect by y cube. That means if this angle is 100, it will be 50 50. If this angle is 80, it will be 40 40. What we have to find? We have to find. Measure angle x y cube. What is x y cube? X y cube. This we have to find. Hold. Okay. And measure angle q y p. This we have to find. Q y. Enough. What is given? Let us. First of all. Measure in the x y z plus x y z z y p is one equal linear pair. X y p x y z is sixty four plus measure in the z y p is one equal. Therefore, z y p is one equal minus sixty four. 10 minus 4 means 6. 7 minus 6 means 1. 116. Okay. Therefore, measure of the ZYP is 116 because it's 416. Now, YQ bisect angle XYP. Therefore, measure of the XYQ is equal to measure angle. Q Y P both are equal is equal to X. Measure angle X Y P is measure angle X Y Q plus measure angle Q Y P. X Y P X X Y P we got here hundred and sixty is equal to X plus X. Therefore X plus X two X is equal to hundred and sixty. Therefore, x is equal to 116 upon 2. 2 one third to 5 the 10. 2 eight the 16. Therefore, x plus x is equal to 116 upon 2 into 5 the 10. 2 eight the 16. So, x is equal to 116 upon 2 into 5 the 10. 2 eight the 16. So, x is equal to 116 What we got? We have to find x y p. What is x y p? X y q. Sorry, x y q. We got to find and q y q y p. We got this 50. Q y p. We got this one. Now another angle x y q. We have to find x y q is equal to measure angle.
QIP is 360 minus metal angle QIP 360 minus QIP is 58. If you subtract from this, we get 10 minus 8 means 2, 5 minus 5 0. That means 302 is the answer. This is the reflex angle of QIP. You have to check your answer whether it is correct or not. You have to check regular. Okay. Then that will be the correct answer. Okay. If you can solve it. If you are not following, you call us and explain you. Okay. Thank you.